What's happening, fellas? Back again with the 2022 Lowrider ST Harley-Davidson. Christy and I were down in Florida this winter, and uh, when they had the, the public release of this bike and I saw the photos of it, right off of Jump Street, I immediately got on the phone with my Harley dealer, 9.01 a.m. When they opened, I was on the phone and said, I want to be the first one to get one of these. Gave him a deposit and said, I'll, I'll take it. This is a Harley-Davidson FXLRST. It came from the factory with 117 cubic inch. Uh, CVO engine. It's the only soft tail that comes with that 117 CVO en engine and the free breathing intake. We uh, haven't ridden the bike at all because I always ride with, it's also a big day today because it's our fourth anniversary, Christy and I, and she's the love of my life. She's my soulmate. I've known her since I was a kid and uh, finally we ended up together. Uh, she, she and I have been having so much fun traveling around the country to different motorcycle events. She's been my, my uh, partner to go to all the events and my best friend and my soulmate and this bike came with no rear saddle on it, so uh, it's been sitting waiting for the saddle because I didn't want to leave her home alone. We've been riding our turbocharged CVO Dyna and our FXR, but uh, the seat just came in. Lance Merton, our Harley PhD, uh, did all the work on this. He did the, we installed the Harley Davidson quick detach removable rack on the back with the saddlebag rack. And if you wonder why this giant bag is on here, well, Christy and I, every year for the last four years, we go up to the largest touring rally in the world in Americade, New York, up at Lake George. So this thing, I absolutely fell in love with it. The fairing on this, if you know me and you follow us at all, you know I'm a Harley FXR guy. I've been riding, my first Harley was in 1999, 1990 when I was 20 years old. I bought an 87 Harley Davidson FX LR. Well, I have a 1990 Harley Davidson FXR now. It's my forever bike. It's black and, and uh, I love it, but it's not really set up for, for sport touring. This one, Came, this fairing right here is a modern replica of the original Harley Davidson FXRT. T stand for touring. It's a sport touring setup. Now this bike came from the factory with the upside down forks, which is a, a modification a lot of Harley riders would do on, on the performance FXR riders. The triple disc brakes, the gold mag wheels. The fairing for me is the hallmark of the bike, but it does have the King stock with the six inch risers and the super bike style bars all the blacked out componentry on it, the black and gold logo. I just love the way it looked, but like I said, it didn't work for me when I got it because I needed to get pegs for my honey, and I always uh, get her these motocross style pegs. These are uh, the Harley Davidson HDMC motocross style pegs. I uh, came stock with the saddle bags. I added the pegs, the seat, the backrest, and this big bag, which comes off. It's just, it's just uh, clipped on there. It comes right off. So we can put all our stuff up on here and go on, go to touring rallies and, 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 and tour the country together. Uh, we also bought the, the smoked turn signal lenses for it. My Harley Tech Lance said, hey, get the smoked turn signal lenses for it. Get the, uh, the blacked out um, levers. So right out of the box, it's a six speed, 117 cubic inch CVO monster. It came stock with these Michelin Harley Davidson Scorcher 31 tires. So uh, the shock on this low rider ST, ST is a little is about an inch longer than the stock low a stock soft tail so it sits up a little higher gives you a little bit better lean angle and of course the upside down forks perform like a modern sport bike triple disc brakes plenty of power uh, the saddlebags we also ordered uh, with this saddlebag kit we, we ordered these removable saddlebag liners so when we go when, when Christy can pack one with her stuff in it and we get to the hotel up at Americade uh, we just pull these bags out and pop this off and we got our luggage to go in. You can pack plenty of stuff in here for a, a two or three day trip for the two of us. And it's a six speed overdrive. We'll cruise on the highway all day long. Just waiting now, uh, my friends at Thunderheader, I called them up, said I bought this bike. I said, they said, listen, you'll get the very first Thunderheader off the line. So it got shipped on Monday. It, should, it could even be coming today. Today's Friday. If not today, it'll be in early next week. We'll have the Thunder header on here. And you really don't have to do much more because it's already a, a 117 cubic inch. I think that's 1,891 cc's if I'm not uh, mistaken. And it already has the free breathing air, take, air intake. So the only thing I'm going to add on it for now is the Thunder header. That'll be, that'll be my, my stage. My, my next thing I do first was setting it up for Christy and I for touring. Then I'm gonna put the Thunder header on it. And they also, if you look at the fairing here, the fairing has uh, been designed by Harley Davidson to accept a stereo system where uh, I ordered it. They said it was a 42 day back order on the stereo. So I'll have a stereo. Uh, listen, uh, I think I think it road glides in, in, in my future, but that's a bag, that's a big bagger. And for me, um, I'm more of a sport rider. I raced motocross my whole life, still do. 
and I love going fast on bikes. And this is this is the best of both worlds. You got the sport touring capabilities with the, the bags and, and the fairing. I also have a taller windshield that came for that, that goes up about this high. I wanted to ride it with this windshield first, but I'm probably gonna put the taller shield on it for when we go up to Americade, and God willing, that Thunder header will be in. And once we have tunes, Christy wants to get tunes. So it's our fourth anniversary. I love love you very much, Christy. Can't wait to take you out for a ride on this. And hopefully you, you like it as much as, uh, as, uh, as I do. And hopefully the seat be nice and comfy and the back rest. She flew off the back of my FXR one time, wheeling up the driveway here. So ever since then, we don't ride a bike together without a backrest. Got to keep, got to keep my honey safe. So stay tuned. We've got some. Uh, uh, the next step will be the exhaust. I might be going to see my my buddies at Moonshine Harley Davidson, uh, probably the number one Harley Davidson engine builder in the in the country uh, this winter when we leave after Christmas to head down south. We might end up at Moonshine Harley Davidson for maybe their 135 cubic inch upgrade. They're, they're putting out 150 horse on these uh, without a whole lot of mods. So we'll see about that. But first thing is the stereo, the exhaust, and maybe I'll have the uh, the Olin's cartridge inserts or the Legend cartridge inserts done on the forks and uh, maybe a little more performance mods. But we got to break it in. This thing's brand new. It's got, let's see, I think it's got about 20. <laughs> It's got about 25 miles on it, so really haven't ridden it much yet. I'm not even sure how to, oh here it is, yeah, check it out. Hit this button right here, 23 miles. This thing's brand new, so just gonna take it nice and easy, let it break in nice for the first 500 miles. Let's go do a drive-by. channel you know you know that i had a 2017 lowrider s which was my dream bike and when covid struck uh the state shut the museum down and unfortunately we had to lay off like nine of our 18 guys and we didn't sell any motorcycles for like a, a month like we were basically wondering what we we're gonna do to survive so i sold my lowrider asked my dream bike and uh to my good friend gerald rothman jr sold sold uh, both my two of my three harleys and uh, my diesel truck to come up with enough money to keep us going. And then, as you all know, the motorcycle industry exploded shortly thereafter. So um, if I, I wish I had hung on to it, but I didn't. When this bike came out, this is the modern replacement of the Dyna Lowrider S, but it's even better. It handles better. It's got the upside down forks. It's got better brakes. It's got bigger motor. It's got more power. It's a, the new M8 engine. It's a fantastic machine. I hope, I hope I have years of, of, of enjoyment on it. This could be a forever bike. We're gonna uh, do some mods to it. Hopefully Christy likes it as much as I do. But uh, I am getting a little older, so maybe a road glide in my future. Uh, maybe I'm ready for one of those now. So thanks for watching. Uh, treat yourself if you can get out. You know, nobody lives forever. I had a lot of my friends dying, uh, at, you know, in their 50s. I'm 57, my dad died at 59. You never know when your number's up. So life's short, you're gonna be dead a long time. So do the right thing, stay sober, work hard, Get yourself a kick-ass bike and take your lady out on some nice rides. Thanks for watching, and God bless America.